Prayer. All right, how you guys doing tonight? Good evening. Uh, it's Michael Dobosca here from Houston, Texas, and I just want to, uh, you know, give you a, a really uh, man of God. You know, I want to introduce him, uh, the son, uh, son of Lloyd, um, C. A. Wells, uh, Reggie, Saint Julian Wells, uh, true man of God, and uh, he has some truth to speak to you guys about. Uh, you know, right now, you know, answers and the truth about life in 2020, uh, you know, in the midst of a coronavirus pandemic that we're all going through around the world. And also uh, the, you know, the tragedies that we're facing with, uh, you know, police brutality, uh, racism, the death of George Floyd, many others recently worldwide. And, uh, you know, just uh, a, whole, a whole lot more. So without further ado, let me, you know, I have for you Reginald St. Julian Wells. Okay, good evening, everybody. You know, I want y'all to know something. You don't have to have replace all your fear with faith. As long as you trust God and you just keep your hope alive, keep hope alive because you can't give up and you can't give in and we ain't going to give out. So I want y'all to know that, you know what? You can trust God. And we all, people ask me in church this morning, what can we do? I said, well, everybody needs to get together. Stand up on their knees and repent and stand and stand up and pray. Stop doing all that email and do some knee mail. Hold hands, pray together, come together, live together, and respect one another and love your neighbor. We don't have to have no hate. People think you got to replace the hate with love and you got to replace the fear with faith. So you know what? People hating each other for no reason. They say they love God. And then they say they don't like their brother and sister who they see every day. They've never seen God. So you know what? Okay, if you hate somebody, that don't mean you have to kill them. So I'm going to say a prayer for y'all because I want y'all to know that, hey, all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord according to his purpose and his will. So you know what? Cast all your cares upon him because he care. Let not your heart be troubled. He that's in you is far greater than he's in the world. Call those things that be not as though they were. You can definitely put your trust in. In God. God said he'll never leave you, he'll never forsake you. Read Psalm 91, read Psalm 23, read Psalm 1. You can read, you, you know, you, you need to just get in that Bible and read John 14, 21. And then I'm going to say a prayer for y'all because you know what? Everybody needs to repent and let go and let God. Because what God can do, man can't do. God can dream bigger dreams you can ever dream for yourself. I'm going to say a prayer for y'all. This is the daily prayer. Dear Lord, I thank you for this day. I thank you for my being able to see and to hear this morning. I'm blessed because you are a forgiving God and an understanding God. You have done so much for me, and you keep on blessing me. Forgive me this day for everything I have done, said, or thought that was not pleasing to you, O oh Lord. I ask now for your forgiveness. Please keep me safe from all danger and harm. Help me to start this day with a new attitude and plenty of gratitude. Let me make the best of each and every day to clear my mind so that I can hear from you, O oh Lord. Please broaden my mind that I can accept all things. Let me not whine and whimper over things that I have no control over. It's the best response when I'm pushed beyond my limits. I know that when I can't pray, you listen to my heart. Continue to use me to do your will. Continue to bless me that I may be a blessing to others. Keep me strong and healthy that I may help the weak. Keep me uplifted that I may have words of encouragement for others. I pray for those that are lost and can't find their way. I pray for those that are misjudged and misunderstood. I pray for those who don't know you, O oh Lord, intimately. I pray for those that don't believe, Lord, but I believe. I thank you that I believe, Lord. I thank you that you've given me a desire to have a craving for your son, Jesus. I believe that God changes people and God changes things. I pray for all my sisters and brothers for each and every family member in their households. I pray for peace, love, health, joy in their homes, that they are out of debt and all their needs are met. I pray that every eye that reads this knows there is no problem or circumstances or situation greater than God. So put your faith and trust and hope in God. If you're faithful, you won't be faithless. If you're hopeful, you won't be hopeless. If you're useful, you won't be useless. I guarantee you, you have to step out on your faith. It's impossible to please God without faith. Faith without works is dead. 
People need to quit running around thinking they somebody owe them something. Don't nobody owe nobody nothing. You owe it to yourself. You know what? God don't need us. We need God. And you you must have to, you know what, step out on your faith. And, you know, people people don't always do what you say, but they'll say what you do. It's amazing. So, you know what, we may not have it all together, but together we can have it all. See, fear has got the world separated. Long as we are divided, the government going to control y'all. And you know what? The problem with America, they too Americanized. And when you Americanize and you don't know the truth, then therefore you panic. And most people who have fear in their heart, they're going to panic because they don't know the truth. It's time y'all wake up and understand y'all have identity. you got to have true identity. You, you can't live in this world with identity crisis. you got to believe in yourself, and you got to feel good about yourself. And you will never be able to be happy with nobody until you be happy with yourself. People trying to change people, they can't even change themselves. If you want something to change, you be the change that you want the world to be. It's time we start lifting each other up, encouraging each other, standing with each other, praying for each other, living with each other, and you know what? Loving each other. Love conquers all. You can, you know what? Love is the greatest gift God ever gave us. So you know what? If you love God, love his people. How can you not love people and say you love God who you've never seen? So in the Bible, brothers and sisters are powerful words. We all are brothers and sisters, and God don't discriminate. And you know what? God don't take no nap. And another thing, he don't sleep nor slumber. And he say he'll never, never leave us, and he'll never, never forsake us. So you can depend on God. You can trust in God. And if people ask you something that you may not understand, say, well, let me pray about it. Trust. Put your trust in God. Who do we trust? Trust God. Don't never depend on people because they'll find a way to disappoint you every time. Emotions and feelings don't have no brain. Emotions come and go. And you got to always understand you must read your Bible. You must spend time with God and you must pray. You can't stay sane in an insane world out of prior life. You got to serve your master. You know what? Chase God. I dare you to chase God. Get a habit of reading the Bible and be addicted to praying and watch your life change. Spend time with God every day. When you wake up every morning, you got to say, I'm beautiful and wonderfully made in the image and likeness of God. I'm God's own masterpiece. I am a child of God. I'm an ambassador of Christ. Call those things that be not as though they were. And just know that all you have to do is invite the Holy Spirit in your life and ask God to come in your life and just be sincere and speak from the heart because only God deals with the heart. It's got to, you have to be sincere and you have to surrender and you have to submit your life. You have to be consecrated in the world. You have to have a great zeal for God. God gave me a desire to have a craving for Jesus. I ain't been the same since. One word from God can change your whole life. Elevate your way of thinking and you elevate your way of living. Change your thoughts. Change your profile. You change your lifestyle. Quit trying to follow people that don't know where they're going. How are you going to follow somebody lost? The blind leading the blind into a ditch. You need to get to know God. Get to know your maker. You can call on God anytime. He's on the main line. If you got a problem... God is the problem fixer. My God is a healing God. He's a God of miracles. He can deliver you and give you restoration in every area of your life. This is my prayer. I love y'all in the mighty name of Jesus. God is real. The word is real. And you know what? God can fix anything that you can't fix. And he can dream bigger dreams than you can ever dream for yourself. What God can do for you, you would never be able to do for yourself. So you know what? When we try to do something, we mess up. But when you let God do it, he always gets it right. You see what's going on right now? God is doing this. And people need to quit talking about they're mad at God and why, if God's so good, why he's letting all this help. God don't make no junk. Everything God made is good. He got the whole world in his hands. God owns everything. So why when you serve him? You ought to want to get to know God because you got to go to heaven one day. You don't want to live your whole life in hell just to go to hell. You don't want to just waste your time. Don't invest your time to waste your time. You know what? Are you living to eat or are you eating to live? Are you living to learn or are you learning to live? Okay, wake up. It's time to wake up. You know what? When you wake up and learn that you the truth will make you free, well, you know what? I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. Amazing grace, how sweet the song. How sweet that sound, it sounds so good to me. You know what? Jesus loved me, this I know, for the Bible tell me so. I love y'all in the mighty name of Jesus. Put your trust in God. Don't trust in people. 
people will find a way to disappoint you every time. So you know what? Just, just put your foot down. Step out on your faith and watch God work. Trust him. Give him an opportunity. Apply yourself. Empower yourself. You know what? You can do anything you put your mind to, especially when you put your life in God's hands. You cover with the blood. Stay up under God's umbrella and put your trust in him. And you don't have to. He said, be in the world, not of the world. You know what? Cast all your cares upon them because he care. Let not your heart be troubled. Trouble may come, but trouble don't last. And this too shall pass. God is bigger than anything going on in the world. That's why he said, be in the world, but not of the world. Don't be deceived by deception. Wake up, y'all. It's time to wake up. Hey, everything in the dark will come to the light. If the moon can shine, if the sun can shine, well, you know what? You got to let your little light shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. You can't be having them pity parties. You got to have a Holy Ghost party. People in the world thinking they're enjoying themselves, but they're destroying themselves. You know what? I tell you what, they ask me, what kind of party you got? They said, do you party? I said, no, nah, I used to party. I said, but now... I got a new party. It's called the Holy Ghost Party. Ain't no party like the Holy Ghost Party because the Holy Ghost Party never stopped. I love y'all. God bless y'all. And I'm going to take a station break, but I got so much more to share with y'all. Because you know what? God, he exalted me. He gave me rest. He gave me peace. At the end of the day, if you got peace of mind, you got everything. You know what? Inner change brings about inner peace. So you know what you have to do? You have to stay in touch with God so you can feel good about yourself. And you know what? You have to know that being happy with yourself is the greatest thing in the world because you wake up in the morning with joy in your heart. See, the world might give you some pleasure, but God will give you treasure. The world will give you happiness, but God will give you joy. Oh, Frankie Beverly said, I got myself to remind me of love. So sometimes you got to break up to wake up, leaving a bad situation. You need some rejuvenation. I love y'all. We are one. You know what? One love, one peace, one God. Peace out. God bless y'all.